Go there. Okay. So let me check. Check my settings. Am I audible? Okay, looks fine. Okay, now what I would like to do is something then we have each row and this row as of now it has a title time and the value So now I want to add a category here. So it should be a rounded rect. Say food or something like this. So I just want, sorry, it should be one category and I might have this or might not have this this can be tags or something so I can decide on how I want it to be but just I want I'm building the component online order or something like that okay So let me just build that component out first. And then, so we'll, what we'll do is we had, we'll create a new um, content, a new view. So a new file. So headless, let me create a new file and get back. So this would be tag view. So we'll let it be generic. This would be the tag view. Okay, so what do we have here? So it's a Swift UI view, so we'll have this body here and we'll say tag view. Okay and today's date is 9 0 1 0 1 9 2021 tag view body okay what else is there um we have this previews and then we have this tag view so let's just resume this and hopefully we'll see the same content here yes we are going to see the same content now 
let's just remove this we want a horizontal tag horizontal this one with a x mark so what we would do is we'll create a view uh, geometry view swift ui let's just say swift ui geometry view okay i was where is hacking with swift let's just go through this so we need a rounded rect swift ui a rounded rect Okay. Great. I didn't expect a rounded rectangle with corner radius and style. Rounded corner style. Okay. So rounded rectangle okay let it be five and continuous what other option do we get hopefully it will load sometimes it just bounces to the okay we have circular and we have rounded okay um, so 25 and circular okay um, yeah there is some difference in continuous and No, I'm not seeing any difference, sorry. Dot frame. Uh, so width equal to dot parent. No, uh, we need width. We need it to be 300 would be more. Yeah, 300 would be more. 100 or 150 okay height to be 50 and alignment to be center left what other alignments are there leading okay leading dot background what about the color foreground color should be blue come on So it's a rounded rectangle, shape modifiers, view modifiers, data, configuring the view.
this font. Okay. So I'm just looking at why foreground color isn't applied. Not red should convert into red okay it's not resumed come on yeah that's not running so we have to okay this color has to be changed based on the category so for now it's fine and we need text in this right so this has to be a z stack and then we will have a h stack inside which we will have a text say food dot font title and then foreground color is white dot white okay this looks great and it has to be alignment so do we have a alignment here say 100 and 40 50 and this has to be leading not leading I'm not sure okay great uh, this looks great and then we have we should have a image dot okay SF image we need an SF image so how do I give an SF image uh, close button do we have a close button no so Apple provides a default SF image Swift UI Simple Swift guide. <sighs> okay, system image. Great. And it has to be a close button. And then its foreground color has to be white. So it has to be a title not font is equal to title and this would be 50 by 50 and this would be trailing sense do we need a spacer in between so I cannot confirm to okay this should fix the problem Enter. Yep. Where 
is this I'm not seeing anything close cross so how do I get Interesting. System image. Close cross. What is this trash dot circle? Okay, let's try this. Trash dot circle. Okay. Uh, close is not there. Cross. This is the cross. This is. Um, Okay, where do I get the names now? Mm. Apple's documentation explains this. So, image scale rendering mode, but all this is fine. Where do I get the cross symbol? Okay, I need something like this, but no. Um, SF symbols iOS. Nope. How can I get the symbols? I need all the symbols so um, one point one okay it's downloading. Just going to install as a symbol two dot X and let me see if I can get it. Okay, move to bin. We are back. How to find name? of SF symbols Swift UI so find all the names of the system image Swift download SF symbols app so do we have app SF symbols Yes, we have an app for that. Okay, great. Okay, where is the close button? X mark, X mark, X mark circle fill, X mark circle. Okay, copy name. This is great. Apple just rocks. Okay. 
circle dot fill would be this one good we don't need a spacer but still it is going out mm. so because it's leading so i need to give some margin insets padding edge insets top 0 leading 10 bottom 0 and 0 does it work yes it works so we need to increase our leading to 20 uh, we need still 30 why is it stop how do i inspect this okay this is the problem so we don't need need around 75 say hmm. okay do we still need padding I'm not sure. Then works. Okay. So what are the things which we need to automate? One is this color. So this has to be dynamic. Uh, to do dynamic color based on tag or category which we are using okay this is one thing then we need to change the name dynamic this has to be dynamic text value based on the color here based on the background color we need dynamic font color too sorry and same goes for here dynamic font color fill color so we need font color Two. this is two this has to be same as the text and font color one this is like background color of the tag okay so we got this we got this this is the edge tag this is the so how about this now does it look good sure yeah it has to be still more about 15 looks good 15 or should it be 20 and uh, it should not be 20 How does that look looks good okay now let's do one thing let's add this tag view to our row so we have a vertical stack and in the vertical stack we have a tag view how about that 
Oh, no, we have added it wrong. I shouldn't be adding it here. No. Okay, still some work to do. Padding here, this is 20. Okay, so there was some problem with that. So now the problem is Okay, this is the problem. Um, the font has to be reduced. That means the tag view. Okay, these things has to be reduced now. So what we'll do is we will reduce the rounded rect size to 100 and this to be 21. I think this was Apple's standard height for text uh, in UI kit. And then we will reduce this to we'll make this 21 and this has to be body I didn't see it reducing uh, there is some problem with that so let's check it out later 21 leading bottom 10 yeah and this has to be 21 this has to be 21 uh, let's check if we reduce the font size yes that makes sense now and it cannot go out of has to be 121 so these two has to be same why is it not inside the H stack why is it going out of that stack so um, because of the width here Yeah, and that was because of the width. Hmm. There was one more font weight light. Let's okay. Font weight. No. Title to body call out footnote large headline custom system no footnote okay but there is no use of this because it's so small we couldn't even okay this looks fine this looks fine and this looks fine now 
great okay so we need to make this as optional if it's a tag we will show it if it's a category we won't show it depends so because we are using a we are trying to build a reusable component just I like to so keep that options okay so this is great this is great um, and this needs to be coming from uh, fetched from uh, color scheme Even this needs to be fetched from a color scheme and this needs to be fetched from a color scheme okay so this is a color scheme this is a color scheme and this is a color scheme okay now how about uh, we build A tag scheme or where we will have the size okay and then we will have the colors for it it has to be independent right like how we have this body so font type is a body that means it is of the size so it's defined it's predefined the size is predefined how about we predefine this frame for a tag if we say large so there would be enumerations and there would be a tag type and each one has like large then or say title so what are these When I go here what are these types so there are some types right so this is a font extension of font and these are the types now each type has their own size so So let's just uh, do it in a raw way. So where width or we can say size. Let's just say width equal to float. return based on the switch statement so switch self and we say case dot body return if it's a body let's say return 21 dot zero if it's a title let's just say thirty one dot zero or by default let's return twenty one dot zero 
switch must be exhaustive we have done exhaustive so this, okay this is width so width has to be let's say 50 and here for title it would be 75 and by default it would be the smallest one 50 invalid redeclaration of width okay let's just say height so for height this would be 21 and this would be 50 and by default we had a smaller one so yeah 21 will never be returned okay we don't need this so yeah so width and height so this is of tag type and then say where font we will just say font so we'll derive everything from here so uh, including this uh, no not the color color scheme has to be different so let's just copy this switch statement and then uh, okay what are this so these are double dot body and this would be title okay height is 25 and 50 and width is 150 Okay, something like that so that would be the next target so for now yes we achieved what we wanted uh, we got a reusable component here and we can add actually we can have a edge stack here so we can use this in various ways uh, we'll just say tag view 1, tag view 2, tag view 3 or we just wait for this and we can have it here and wrap this entire thing in a v stack so let me just realign this okay so this would be a row body um, padding of 20 I would like to have edge insets and then in edge insets I would like to have top 20 leading 20 bottom 0 and then trailing 20 so yeah this looks great now so we are fine with this let's see how the expense list goes great so yeah we have made some reusable component um, now we can use it in um, any way we want okay this looks great now
to make this dynamic and work we will uh, work with various color schemes and various fonts um, that would be the next part good so which here uh, we achieved some things so probably we need to have some variables here so it would be state or any variables and then fill in while creation so which type of tag we want so this looks great okay that was good progress okay great hmm. okay now I'm going to stop the stream I have to get off from work let me see whom can we rate Actually, we don't. Let me Okay. Okay, great. Let's just stop here. We'll continue. Hopefully, in another couple of hours, I'll be back. And okay, thank you.